Hi guys, welcome to another short video clip of our MrLopezClasses.com. Today we are going to talk about the 12 volts DC or 24 volts DC. What is better for my boat? Is uh, more power in my boat with the 12 volts or more power in my boat with the 24 volts? What is the advantage in some cases when I configure the battery banks in 12 volts or in 24 volts? Let me check quickly the wiring of the connection of uh, the batteries in 12 volts and uh, in 24 volts. Uh, in this uh, uh, picture you can see in 12 volts you have uh, the positive, the, the negative, negative with negative, positive with positive, this is the parallel configuration and uh, the voltage because it's in parallel will be 12 volts. And uh, the intensity because it's connected in parallel increase. Remember, in parallel, the intensity increase. In this particular case, is 100 amps, and 100 amps is 200 amps. Each battery is 12 volts, 100 amps. Okay, this is the, the output of uh, that uh, connection of uh, two batteries in parallel. Each battery of 12 volts, 100 amps, in the output you have 12 volts, 200 amps, because it's parallel connection. Positive with positive, and negative with negative. Okay, now we are going to check uh, the series connection. Okay, once again, both batteries are exactly the same, uh, 12 volts and 100 amps, and uh, we are going to connect in series. Ah, the positive of the first one is connected with the negative of the second one, and uh, this is the output negative of the series, and this is the output positive of the series. Okay, because it's in series, the voltage increase. Okay, the output voltage will be 24 volts. And, because it's in series, the intensity stays constant, it's the same. Ah, okay, in this particular case, the intensity will be 100 amps. Okay, that's the first difference. In series, I have 100 amps. In parallel, I have 200 amps. Okay, that's the number one. Number one, the thicker of the cables, the gauge of the wires, in parallel, is bigger in series is a smaller wires okay this is great because uh, in in a big boat configure the boat in general in 24 volts i am going to use wires with less diameter less gauge because i am going to move it the flow of electricity is less in series in comparison with the flow of electricity is bigger in parallel okay number one important i have bigger cables thicker cables in parallel in comparison with series. Okay, now we are going to check the power. Is, is more power in 24 volts or is more power in 12 volts or what happened? Okay, let me check the formula. The formula for power state that the power in watts is equal to the voltage times intensity. Okay, in this particular case the voltage is 12 volts times the intensity is 200 amps ah, ok, is 2400 watts 2400 watts this is the power, the electrical power when you connect two batteries in parallel in this particular example, each battery 12 volts, 100 amps in the second one, the power in watts will be equal to the voltage 24 volts times the intensity 100 amps Ah, okay, the output power will be 2400 watts. Ah, the power is the same. It's exactly the same in both cases. Oh, wow, I have the same power. In 24 volts, the same power in 12 volts. Oh, great. Oh, okay, I need thicker cables, bigger cables in parallel connection because I move it more amps. I need less diameter, thinner cables in series because I move less amps. Important. But the power is the same. In what cases I use a parallel uh, configuration? When I need storage more amount of amps, for example, in house battery banks. If you have a sailboat, the house battery bank should be with the maximum amount of amps. Okay, the parallel configuration will be better. In what cases I need series configuration? When I need a jump of voltage at the beginning, high voltage at the beginning, high force at the beginning. 
Oh, cranking, for example, or bow thrusters, for example. This is great because uh, when I connect the batteries in series, I have a good jump of a voltage at the beginning, boost voltage at the beginning. Okay, that's the series connection. This is the recommendation. Okay, don't forget, in, in a typical boat, I have four, five, six group of batteries. The secret is keep connected all the negative of all the group of batteries together and connected with the main negative boost bar in the DC panel and, of course, the main negative boost bar in the DC, in the DC panel connected with the bonding conductor and the bonding conductor with the sink. If you want more information about that, check my, my videos about the uh, series and parallel connections and uh, other about the configuration of battery banks in my book of marine electricity. You enjoy this uh, video clip? Please, if you want to say thank you, make a click on uh, thanks. Your contribution is important for me to create more products. Thank you.